Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. My name is Charles, you can go my channel if you like, and in today's episode, which is episode number 79, I want to say? Uh, we're just going to do a regular run, I think. May as well. Could do Judas, Boo Baby, Eve, Lazarus. Uh, let's try Eve. Let's give Eve a shot, why not? Eve's a fun character. Alright. Not a bad room to start with. A couple flies is a okay with me. That's not fantastic. Not really what we're looking for. Uh, we'll keep looking around though. A couple of these guys, not half bad. Why did that one not shoot? That was funky. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Last guy right here. There we go. Alright, we're gonna keep looking around, waiting to find our item room, of course. Hopefully we can find that uh, sooner than later. Perfect. Free key from that man is fantastic, always appreciated. Free consumables in general are always appreciated. This guy should split into two, right? That's what this guy does. These flies over rocks are probably the most annoying thing in the world. And I don't mean that as a drink, I mean that as them flying over top of rocks. There we go. A bomb for two bombs is a good trade if we can find uh, a single bomb. Head this way, find a couple mulligans, find a tinted rock as well. So a single bomb becomes ever more valuable. One bomb could turn into two bombs, two bombs could turn into one bomb and a tinted rock. That would be very nice. I want to destroy that fly. Thankfully we got it out of the way. Uh, if we kill one of these guys, oh never mind, they don't have uh, the bombs inside of them. I thought they did. Turns out they have flies. Oh well. I don't want to chase this guy around because he has creep. I don't want to step on said creep. Not really a fan of taking pointless damage. I do it often though. A little bit more on this this fly here. There we go. Still got to deal with this man, Mr. Green. Green man, Mr. Grinch, if you will. All right, Green man. There we go. Finally, and he gives us a pill. Could be good. Could be something we need. Who knows? May as well save it though until after we get the item room, as a just in case. Because I'm a super cautious player, as always. Alright, doing well here. Not a problem at all. One bomb gets us two tinted rocks now. That's fantastic. All we need is one bomb. Just one bomb, game. That's all I'm asking. Is that really a lot to ask? I mean, a single bomb? Is that too much? Five cent, it's a five cent gift game. Just drop it, please. One single bomb game. We can get those two, then we can get two uh, tinted rocks. It would be fantastic to get a single bomb. All my dreams would come true. That's not quite a bomb game. At least you came close. And this isn't the end of the floor yet, so we could still get a bomb, I guess. Hopefully we do. Uh, sincerely, hopefully we get a bomb. <clears throat> I would really like to get a bomb. That would set us up for the next floor. Really nicely if we could get a bomb. Real nicely, game. You'd be giving me a very gracious gift. guy is not too bad so far, but he is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, if we do get hit twice by him, we just die, so that's a bit of a problem. That's why I'm kind of being a little cautious here. Trying to be, at least. There we go, finally. Took a lot of hits. Uh, I guess we'll go to the left. 
still in the search of a bomb. Just one bomb. One bomb, guys. I know you guys can drop it for me. Come on, mulligans. I have faith in you, mulligans. I don't know why he would do that. Oh, he's trying to spawn more flies, I see. Not very nice of you, man. Uh, gotta get past that meat. There we go. Alright, man, you gotta go. You can't keep doing me like this. You can't. You just can't keep doing me like this, man. That was the one, too. That was the one I was looking for. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got him. Now it's just, uh, this lighter red man down here, who hopefully does not spawn into meat. We can pray. And pick you. Pick where you're going already. That was, uh, that was a bit of a, a bit of a weird, uh, run around there from him. I'll let you key. Uh, I would like to find our item room before we fight the boss. We're a little weak right now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. Uh, don't really know how that worked, but I'll take it. Super weird. Where else can we go? Um, huh. I think we can go this way and then down. And this is new? Yeah, there we go. There's our item room as well. That's nice. Alright. We should be able to outrange these guys. Perfect. Still need that bomb, so. Oh, Bob's Rotten Head is our bomb, but Dead Onion is really good, in my opinion. I'm gonna go Bob's Rotten Head. I know that looks really stupid, and it probably is really stupid, but I like to play stupidly, just because it's fun. It makes for more fun runs. Dead Onion, I think, is a fantastic item. Uh, it makes you shoot very slowly, which effectively decreases your range. But, uh, you, you don't necessarily uh, lose out on everything, because you do still do a pretty good amount of damage. And that's what's important, right? Perfect. If I would have messed that up, I would have never forgiven myself. Oh gosh, no. Oh gosh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Fantastic. There's the other tinted rock. Perfect. Alright, uh, we're set at this point. We'll go fight our... Actually, we may as well take these. I don't feel like coming all the way back here. So we're just going to take these, and we're going to go fight our boss. Very nice. That went... Uh, very nicely. Got a damage upgrade, got two spirit hearts. Fantastic. Couldn't really ask for much better. Dingle, dangle, dingle. I've got spurs that dingle, dangle, dingle. I think it's an airplane going by, or a helicopter, I should say. I do believe. So apologies if you can hear that. That was a little loud. You get a lot of uh, military helicopters going by in this area. I don't really know why. Not too close to a uh, military base, so I'm not entirely sure where they're from. But that's fine. They're doing something, so... None of my business. Alright, we're getting them. Slowly but surely. Oh, that was horrible. Got a little bit of a lag right as he shot, so I couldn't do my normal little uh, sidestep. I am excited for this time of year though, it's coming up on uh, yard sale season, one of my favorite seasons of the year. That's where I expand my collection quite a bit. Uh, hopefully on the next floor we can leverage our HP into some sort of upgrade from a deal with the devil, that would be fantastic. Luck down, that's not the end of the world. We'll scoot. Oh, curse room. We'll check that out at the end, I think. Not a bad room to get. Steven is really helping with our damage, though. I do appreciate that. Steven is quite the good item. 
It used to be super rare, but then they made it show up in red chests, so it's not so rare anymore. Which is good. I don't think I've ever gotten normal Steven in uh, Afterbirth. Ooh, that's good. From just, uh... Oh, tricky is to not move. I don't think I've ever gotten normal Steven in Afterbirth from fighting Steven. I think I've only ever gotten little Steven. So I'm not entirely sure if Steven is only in red chests now, but I've never seen him anywhere else. Not that I can recall, at least. I know for a fact I've, I haven't gotten him from the Steven fight, so that one I'm not recalling falsely. I know. I know I'm not recalling that one falsely, I should say. But, uh, I may have gotten him from an item room or a secret room, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible to be hit there. Feels bad, man. Not Batman, bad man. Like the guys that Batman would fight. Perfect. Alright, a couple flies isn't that bad. We can use our golden key to go into our item room real quick before we fight our boss. Hope for a deal with the devil as well. Uh, eight inch nails, I think these are called. Yeah, that's not bad. These are neat items. I think they're pretty cool. Ooh. Now we hope for a deal with the devil. And we get Little Horn. Little Horn's not bad. Uh, plop Bob's head. Bob's rotten. Bob's rotten head? Yeah, Bob's rotten head out there for some quick, cheap damage. Why not? Get a pretty hefty chunk to him. I like that. Ooh, perfect. Flung that one right into him. Fantastic. Give me that deal with the devil. Pageant boy. Ugh. Pageant boy is not great, but, you know. What are you gonna do? Pact is quite good. And that would put us into deal, or, uh, our Babylonian state, so yeah. Pact it is. Fantastic. Now we should be doing a ton of damage. We're relatively speedy. HP isn't horrible. Could be better, but it's not that bad. We are, of course, looking for the shop in the secret room at this point. Uh, eight inch nails, I actually think, is really good. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's actually a pretty decent item. Unfortunate to be hit on that room, but, you know, it happens, I guess. Uh, the mark is also a tiers upgrade, so that's why we're shooting a little bit faster now. Very nice. Um, I don't think our item room, or secret room is going to be here. It just doesn't look appropriate. It might be, though. I could be wrong. We are still looking for a shop, of course. Uh, I'm liking our damage. It's actually pretty decent. There is a spirit heart we can use uh, Bob's Rotten Head to get right here. So we may as well. We'll see why we wouldn't. Pretty much free. Perfect. Absolutely decimated. There's our uh, shop. Ooh. Now we want to get another charge. I don't know if we can, but we would love to. Puberty, that's fine. Uh, we doesn't look like we can. We'd love to get another charge to uh, get these bombs. Maybe there's greed in the shop. Nah. I don't really like Sharp Plug. Could get the Spirit Heart. That might be worth it. Let's see. I'll, I'll go to the Curse Room, and then if we get a bomb, something like that, in the Curse Room from Red Chests, if we get uh, you know anything, anything decent that we can use, then uh, we might go back. Oh, that's good. I don't think we need to go back. I think we have plenty of health, so I don't think we need to buy that. I think we'll save it for the next floor. Uh, the other option was Sharp Plug, which is not really what I'm looking for. So no bombs, unfortunately. No more combat rooms, so down we go. I don't think that was too bad of a floor. I think we did relatively well. Let's keep going this way. Eve is, of course, as I've said before, my favorite character. So, you know, naturally I try to do my best as Eve. I try to do my best as every character. Man, that was horrible. But, uh... Eve I particularly enjoy. I like the Babylonian mechanic. I think it's a lot of fun. It's, 
pretty easy to get a pretty good amount of damage going with Eve. I would love to use that, but I'm not in a situation where I can. And there's, of course, Glass Cannon. Which, uh, you know, Glass Cannon's fun. It does a lot of damage, but we don't... We're not in the health situation to use that. Because it takes our... It takes, a, it takes our health. If we had less health, yeah, we'd use it. But, uh, you know, we have... We have too much health to let that just go to waste. I think we should, uh... Let it sit there for now. It is a fun item, though. I do like it. That's not me saying I don't like glass cannon. I do think glass cannon is a good item. I just don't think that we need it right now. I think we're doing plenty of damage, and we have a decent amount of HP, so we don't really need it. Um, I guess we'll fight our boss right off the bat. We already went to our item room. Oh, that's not quite what we were looking for. Didn't realize this was Curse of the Maze. Oh well. Uh, petrified poop is fine. I guess we'll keep looking around. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just go fight the boss. Oh, I didn't even realize we got a chest drop here. It's fantastic. We got a pill. Take that after. Chub. Uh, it's nice that uh, those guys are confined up there. I like that. Not gonna use Bob's Rotten Head here because we don't have any bombs. So I would like to have a charge ready for something on this floor should we need it. And I don't think we need to use Bob's Rotten Head against Chubb. I think Chubb is easy enough to take on by our own uh, our own damage. Eight Inch Nails does that very nicely for us. Wow, we're one-shotting those guys, really? I don't believe that. Yeah, I didn't think so. We're two-shotting them, though. That's not bad. Speed and shot speed is pretty decent. I love the curve shots on these. They look so nice. Uh, we will look around a little bit. We still have to go to our shop. So we'll head up this way. May as well. Three shots. Okay. It looks like three. To take out uh, one of those black silkworms. Almost got hit there. <laughs> we'll go up. Curse room's pretty decent. That's bad, though. Alright, please. Something good. Oh gosh. Oh, thank goodness we didn't use this. Uh, I'm gonna do it from this side, like that. We did get a spirit heart from that. Fantastic. Two bombs. That should get that one. Oh, thank you. Very lucky. Uh, we came out of that a spirit heart up, so... Very lucky. Basically, that red chest contained a spirit heart. That's nice. Uh, who dares wins? That's pretty much uh, the best example possible. Didn't have a lot of HP, went in there anyway. Came out in the in the green. Okay, this is... These guys are so sinking annoying. I really dislike fighting these guys. Especially when there's four of them. They're just... Ugh. In the words of Michael Jackson, they're ignorant. We'll destroy this final guy. Perfect. Head in here. BFF or Jar of Flies. Jar of Flies is really good. BFF is okay, but we don't have any familiars right now. Uh, I think Jar of Flies is something we want, so I'm going to see if there's anything more that we need to use our Bob's Rotten Head for. Maybe there's a secret room we can find with it. I guess we'll take a look here. This looks pretty likely. It is indeed here. Alrighty then. There we go, we get a key from it. Key is pretty nice. Key for a spacebar charge, I will take that. Then we'll come back and we'll buy the Jar of Flies. Which I think is just the better spacebar item. Um, Curse of the Maze is a bit of a punk, but I think we'll be fine. All we have to do at this point is go down to the next floor. Uh, once we get down to the next floor, what are we really looking for? We're looking for some sort of... maybe passive HP and damage. That's all we really need. So maybe the relic from our item room. And then, uh... Hmm. What else? Uh, the pact could be good. Or we have the pact. The mark could be good. Um, uh, I don't really want to change our tier effect, so just something that gives us raw damage. Maybe growth hormones from our boss, relic from our, um, 
item room, and then possibly champion's belt from our shop. That could be good. That's like the, the ideal floor for us right now. To be fair, that's the ideal floor for a lot of floors though, so, you know, <laughs> take that as you will. Destroyed that half first. Come over here and work on this half then. Perfect. Oh, uh, right at the end. Right at the end, of course, as always. Just get a hit at our normal time. The last possible second, as always. The last thing that can hit us hits us, as usual. Alright, there's our boss room. That's fine. Good to know it's there. Barely got out of the way of that guy. Thank goodness we're so speedy. Our Babylonian state, of course, is giving us extra speed. And we have Speedball, which also gave us extra speed. We'll fight our boss. Mega Maw. Not Mega Man, of course. Mega Maw. Perfect. Our flies destroyed him. Uh, Jesus Juice. That's not bad. Deal with the devil being more damaged, that's also pretty good. I think Dark Matter gives us a black heart. No, it doesn't. Wow, okay. That's fine. It's still damage. Uh, not looking like we have a lot of HP. Mainly because we don't have a lot of HP. What? That gets rid of... Ate it? Uh oh. What a shame. I really like the uh, 8 inch nails look. I like the sound effect it makes as well. Oh well. Still a statistical upgrade, so I can't really, uh, I can't bash it. It was a good pickup. Could really use some HP, though. Maybe, uh, I don't want red hearts, I want spirit hearts. Uh, that's a lot of money for future shops. Oops. Maybe, uh, maybe the relic. You know, I'm still looking, still hoping. Oh, that was horrible. That was honestly... Some of the worst damage I've taken in a long time. Getting hit by a dip? I mean, come on. Relic? Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby is pretty decent. It's damage. Passive damage as well, so... Can't really say anything bad about that. I appreciate the Spirit Heart as well. Pretty nice. Uh, why are we doing this room? We've actually been pretty much everywhere. We haven't been to the... Have we been to the shop? What did we get in the shop? I think we went to the shop. What did we get? What was in the shop? Did we go to the shop? We did. What was in it? Oh, it was greed. It was a greed fight, of course. Duh. Oh, I'm losing it. I guess we'll look. We won't look there. Okay, we'll just go. We've been to every important room. Yeah, we'll scoot. Uh, as I said, at this point, we could really use some health. Just passive HP. Relic, miter. Uh, at this point I would even probably consider replacing my spaceball item. Even though I really like it, I think that HP right now is something we really need. Really badly need. We need HP. We're not gonna live very much more if we don't get more HP. We really need it. Alright game, you hear me? Give me HP. That's all I'm saying, game. That's all I'm asking. Don't need bombs anymore, just need HP. At this point, if we get spirit hearts in our shop, we will most likely purchase them, because we have a pretty decent amount of money. Uh, also, hopefully, we can go to our curse room at some point, maybe. That would be, would be nice. Have a nice potential for some spirit hearts, so... And if we get if we get at a high enough HP and I'm comfortable with it, then I think we will. These are worth it, I feel. So I'll go for the double down. Unfortunately, didn't get it. You have to get that perfect to get the double down. So kind of annoying. I think it's worth it to use all of our bombs. Unfortunate. Still think it was worth it. Ooh, thank you, Rotten Baby, for the flies. Check out our shop now. If this is our shop. Could always be a library, I guess, which would be appreciated if it had Book of Revelations or a Satanic Bible in it. That would be very nice. We'll pop in here. Black Candle is good. I'll buy that. 
Uh, actually, I'll just buy Diplopia and then use it. Saves us, saves us some money. We can get two Spirit Hearts. Uh, this is the same pill. Since I have two of them, uh, bad trip is super bad. It's fine though. Uh, if we had some sort of reroll, we would be sitting pretty right now. Unfortunately, we do not. But if we get one, that's nice. Uh, we do have another bomb, so I think we will use it here. Just cause. Wow, that's bad. Alright. Uh, thank goodness for that fear shot. I don't know how we killed him. I guess we got a, got a fly to get him. I don't know. That was super weird. Flies. Flies. No, what are you doing? Sometimes. Alright. Uh, I think the Diplopia play there was pretty nice. Our guy looks pretty dank. Pretty dank. Pretty dope. I don't use those kinds of words, so... I mess him up pretty frequently. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Just this man left. Alright. Very nice. We'll head upwards. Not bashing anyone who does use those kind of words, though. Uh, addiction is person to person. If you like using those words, you do you. And you do you proudly. That's what I say. Perfect. Uh, may as well. War. War is fine. Uh, I like Cuban meat. I'm quite partial to having a familiar. Run, war, run. Uh, we did get a deal with the devil. Fantastic. Three red chests. Perfect. Uh, that's actually pretty close to what I was hoping for, because we don't have any uh, red hearts available. Two spirit hearts. Fantastic. I think we will be hitting up our curse room then. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Satan. I appreciate your deal. So, we'll head this way. We do. We did pick up the Eternal Heart because we're Eve, so Eve can have a full red heart and still... Ooh, that's nice. Eve can have a full red heart. Oh, that's two full red hearts now because of the Eternal Heart. Dang it. <laughs> well, now I'm going to have to find a way to do something. We have 14 cents, so we might get an arcade on the next floor. I'm not going to purposely lose our Eternal Heart. That would be stupid. So uh, I think we should be doing enough damage even if we don't lose our red heart in some way. So, you know, I have hope. Uh, that's pretty good. I will do this for a pill. I can see forever. That's really nice. If we get another pill, I will not be taking it immediately. That's really good payout. Uh, the money, not so much is necess not so much necessary. It's not a uh, necessity to have this much money, uh, considering this is the last shop. But it does give us some donation, uh, donation, uh, uh, do <laughs> some uh, donation stuff. We can donate with it. Unfortunate to be hit there by the first spike. Makes me sad every time I get hit by something as silly as that. Ugh. Silly as that, too. That was real bad. Uh, I think I'll go in our curse room after this red heart or black heart expires, because I don't want to head into our curse room and just waste a black heart. I probably should. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but I'm pretty anal about that sort of thing, so I like to be as productive as possible in that aspect, so I'm going to do my best to uh, keep this black heart dream alive. Heading here, and we get, ooh, baby, oh, baby, we got it. Finally, we got it. Oh, yeah, I've been waiting so long. Oh, I've been waiting all my life. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. This is, of course, my favorite item in the game, Ipecac. In my opinion, one of the best items. Uh, one of the only items in the game that only it can win you the game. No other item. This is the only thing you need to win the game. It's just Ipecac. So at this point, if I lose, I am making a huge fool of myself. But uh, yeah, we're sitting really pretty right now. Ipecac is such a good item. I'm a huge fan of Ipecac. Small rock, fantastic. Very nice. Uh, small rock from our Tinted Rock, of course. That is a damage upgrade and a speed downgrade. I don't know if it's a speed downgrade still, actually. I think it is. Why would it not be, right? 
It used to be. I'm not entirely sure if it still is. I would assume it is. Oh, we picked up a stinking... Ugh. A placebo is our spacebar item. We're not really interested in that, so... I guess we can take this, though. To a hearts. Not really interested in that, either. So I guess we'll donate as much as we can here. Get ourselves jammed up. Alright. 15 cents left over. May as well pick this up, then. Super greed in our secret room. That's a shame. He got absolutely decimated, though. Thank you, Ipecac. Ipecac is a fantastic item. I really can't toot its horn enough. It is so good. Oh, I'm so happy I got it. First time on this uh, account, on this save, that we've gotten Ipecac. Feels good. Feels real good. Ipecac is such a strong item. Um, went to our item room, went to our shop. Still looking for our boss room, okay. Just uh, getting the old rundown. Ah, oh, that's horrible, that's horrible, no! Oh well. Didn't really see a way out of that, so... Do what you can, right? That's the mom fight, are we ready? I shouldn't have picked up that eternal heart. Because it's going to go to waste here because I have to play this guy. I mean, who would I be if I didn't play this guy, right? Yes, I know. I'm in the Babylonian state. Oh. Oh. Mom's bottle of pills, really. Bad trip. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, are we ready? I think we've been everywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, I believe. Okay. Oh, Red Mom. Red Mom with Ithaca could be spooky. Oh, never mind. Ha! <laughs> Flies destroyed everything. Alright, not Krampus. That's nice. And that is Guppy item number of dose. So I'm very happy about that. Our Flies took care of that. That's nice. Thank you, Flies. And now we don't have to worry about the Babylonian state, but we do have to worry about being at half a heart for... Um, the Polaroid. So, unfortunate that we couldn't get in that, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Can't win it all, right? Thank you, Flies. I was, uh, getting a bit distressed, but our Flies saved the day. Our Flies are super good. If we could get a uh, third Guppy item, we would be immensely satisfied. Oh, <laughs> If we were not in our Babylonian state, I think we would have had a tough time uh, escaping that in time. Because, uh, Babylonian State, of course, gives us a speed upgrade. I'm just going to laze at this point, because I don't know what's left. Oh, there we go. Lazing always works. Oh. Retrovision. What would a run be if it weren't for Retrovision? Oh, Retrovision. Why are you on every single run of mine? I don't mind. Retrovision isn't that big of a deal. I can still see fine with it. Perfect. Uh, every time I see a polyp that is within reasonable reach, I will attempt to explode it. If we can't get to it, then obviously there's no reason to explode it, but if we can, then I will try to. would like to destroy this guy without using our flies. Thankfully we could. Our flies are so potent that it feels really bad to use even one on something so simple as a fly. Because that one, uh, one fly of ours does a buttload of damage. I'm gonna go in this room. Just because I feel like there's something here. And by here, I of course mean the area right after this room. The immediate areas after this room, I should say. That would be really nice if we could get it. Unfortunate that we can't. Don't really need to do that. Retrovision is, of course, making uh, the game look like that. It's no resolution error from anyone. It is retrovision. Uh, it basically has to be this way, right? At this point. Ooh, that was almost almost in the territory of me destroying myself with uh, the cac. Thankfully, it was not. Man, how fast do we shoot these? We shoot these pretty dang fast. Alright. Very nice. 
This is why I love Ipecac. It's just such a strong item. I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this, but we did it. <laughs> Hooray. Huzzah. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a little bit spooky. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, that was a little bit spooky. There is our boss. Fantastic. Perfect. Our boss is Conquest. That would give us the pony, but I think I'd prefer our fly days at this point. Uh, horrible damage to take there. I hit myself. So, you know, that's not really what I was looking to do, if I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, we get a deal with the devil. And that's Guppy. We get Guppy in our deal with the devil. That's really nice. Really, really nice. I think we have to. What the heck? Hit the fire. There we go. Alright, Guppy it is. Hooray. Alright, this should be, uh, fantastic. This should be, you know, some of the, one of the better runs we have. It is one of the better runs we've ever had. Even though it's really just a Guppy run with Ipecac. That's still really good. Bombs are key. Health up. I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully we will never be able to just pick up a... Ugh. Hopefully we'll just never be able to pick up any more red hearts. His uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility is pretty strong. Emperor, that's good. We can use that on the cathedral, of course. Of course we want to destroy these polyps, like I said, because they can contain some goodies. Uh, I would like whatever it's called that gives us... Uh... Shoot, what is that? Oh my gosh, I hit a rock. <laughs> Blood Clot. I would like Blood Clot. That's what it's called. That would be pretty nice. If we can find a Half Heart, I would be pretty satisfied with that. This is scary. Uh, only reason this is scary is because we're at a low amount of health. Alright, so I think I see. Perfect. Hermit. Not really what we're looking for. Alright, we're really looking for that Mom's Heart fight at this point. All up, man! You gotta, you gotta come through for me here. Umbilical cord. None of those are really what I want. We have nine lives, so umbilical cord is really not going to be very good for us. I feel. Uh, we'll just walk over here, like so. Perfect. Don't want that. Oh my gosh! I hit myself on a rock. I'm bad. I'm so bad. Really have to avoid that. We are one hit away from death, but uh, I still have faith that we can do this with relative ease. Because we have nine lives as well, so... We're not one hit away from permanent death, we're just one hit away from current death. Current death does not mean concurrent death either, it just means this life. We would like to make it work with this life, of course, but if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. We always have the rest of them, and we have Guppy's Collar. So, we have plenty of stuff that we can do on this. Oh no. That's a shame, but yeah, you can't win them all, I guess. Would really like a half heart. That would be pretty nice. I don't want a full heart, because that would make it so that we do not have Polaroid invincibility anymore. Even though that's not that big of a deal right now, it's still helpful. And anything helpful at this point is uh, worth keeping. We almost died from a polyp. <laughs> Would have been bad, but, uh, you know. Okay. Speed up. Not really what we were looking for. We're already pretty speedy, if I can say so myself. Head in here. Fight mom's stinking heart. Oh my gosh. Our flies utterly destroyed that. <laughs> We got Crow Baby as an achievement. We can fight Isaac right away, but do we want to? I guess we do. I mean, if we just get our flies in there. Oh, nope. Didn't work. Just wasted a bunch of flies. <laughs> uh, this will give us a Spirit Heart. That's actually pretty nice. Will not give us Polaroid Invincibility, though, so that's kind of bad. That's nice, though. I do like the spirit heart. I do appreciate that. 
I will blow up all these rocks. I will check for second secret rooms. I'll do my due diligence right here. Just cause. Why would I not? Alright. You get one fly. It's better than none, I guess. We'll try and take this on legitimately this time. Whoop. Oh no. Thank you. I thought for sure that, uh... That angel fetus was gonna be killed by the, uh, rays, the heavenly beams. Unfortunately, it was not, so we still had to deal with it. Thankfully, we made it out without getting hit. Oh, thank you for that. We got Eve's bird foot, and we got something icky. Something icky is, of course, uh, the spider guy. What the heck is his name? Big spider guy. He's basically daddy long legs, but he looks mechanical. He's pretty cool. Ooh. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything, I don't think. So we have Ipecac. Same with that. Flush. <laughs> Alright, this is real bad. We're in a bit of a sticky situation here. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some good items just naturally. I really hope we can. Because uh, we're not, not really in a good position right now. So we're going to have to find some items along the way to make up for this, I think. Perfect. Just give me some HP items, please. I'll take red hearts at this point. I don't mind. Almost. Probably should have tried to kill Lust last, but that was sort of a, uh, you know, fend for your life situation. Alright, don't really need to go up there anymore. Actually, is Magic Fingers what we take? Does Magic Fingers go off of our damage? Or does it have its own damage? Okay, I think that goes off of our damage. That might be really nice. Full health is fine. That could actually be really good for us, because I think it goes off of our damage, because that was doing a buttload of damage. Thank you for getting stuck on your friend. That was very nice of you. Uh, I think this is Cage. Mr. Cage, thank you for getting stuck on your friend. No, I was more along the lines looking for a chest there. Chest of any kind, really. Uh, I think Magic Fingers is actually pretty good in this niche situation. Because we can do something like this and just destroy. Ooh, that's our item room. Fantastic. Or not item room. Pfft, secret room. And it doesn't have greed in it. Wow. Okay, we'll head downwards. That's fine. Spider Dingle isn't too too bad. I like his shot pattern. Pretty easy. The flies just decimate everything. Obliterate. Perfect. Still looking for those chests. Still haven't really seen any. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. There we go. Okay. Destroy him. Give me a spirit heart. Yes. I figured that one would give me a spirit heart. I remembered it vaguely giving me a spirit heart. I guess the uh, lazy worm is lazy. That's not better. Ha. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Keep doing this. Talk dirty to me. Alright, Stain. You go down before you even know it. Perfect. Couldn't do a thing, Stain. Couldn't do a thing. Perfect. I think we're gonna do this. I think we have more than enough money to make this happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Magic fingers, you're too good for me. Oh, we unlocked Sacrificial Dagger. I guess that's how we get sacked, Egg. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that was a pretty neat ending. I'll see you in the next episode.